Hello everybody, my name is and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts Fire 4, Kaiser Reich is Middle Africa, let's continue on where we last left off. So we are slowly, uh, eventually gonna push back the, uh, South African Revolt, apparently we are not, what are we missing? We're seeing some, a little bit of aluminum and a little bit of steel. Well, that's not great. Uh, what do we actually need the steel for right now? We need it for motorized, but I don't think we actually have any motorized divisions in our army. Or like, I don't think we need motorized for any of our actual troops. We can just ignore that uh, safely, I think, for now. Looks like the South, uh, looks like South Africa is pushing the, the revolt. Um, you're not doing anything quite yet. So I'm just going to stay here. We'll see what kind of what happens. Uh, no template for yeah the motorized divisions. We can ignore both of those, at least for the time being. We've got all our troops up here ready to fight the French if the time so comes. How are you guys doing over here? You are... I mean, you're pretty not great. Will any of my, um, I guess not really allies, but will any of my little helpers here assist in the fight? And the answer to that question looks like it's very much a no. They're not going to do anything to try to assist me here, which is a little bit disappointing. We got more unassigned divisions. I guess we'll just uh, attach them up here. And apparently, um, why is this event? Let's get, let's get rid of that, thank you. We can't push in that territory again, because we're not actually at war with the revolt itself. Okay, we've ended the protectorates. Um, I did see, uh, where was it? Uh, down here, getting into the war economy probably is good to get that started now, rather than later. Because, typically what happens is you're going to end the protectorate, and then all of your African colonies are going to be very, very, very upset with you. We've got some decryption, a sovereign uh, proclamation this evening. Goring addressed the entire Middle Africa in a broadcast speech through the radio. Uh, copies quickly find their way throughout the entire continent. What began as a formal, typical address quickly changed in tone, uh, with the, uh, the guy abruptly denouncing a damaging uh, particular interest in the continent. Okay. Time to still some order whether or not they like it. So let us... What are we going to research? Nin it's almost 1939. We already have the better rifles. These are all 1940 techs. I don't feel like we need those quite yet. We can get better artillery, which I do think we are. We, we do have the artillery in our armies, I'm pretty sure. Or at least I remember. Did I put them in? I did, okay. Yeah, so let's upgrade our artillery to so the 1939 techs. This one, uh, guy doesn't know what he's doing. Okay, let's go assist in their attack in Port Elizabeth. It looks like it's going eh. It could be going, it could be going worse. Could also be going better. Yeah, so that territory is now completely uh, annexed. Hopefully all of these troops and I'll just try to crush the South African revolt. As soon as we take Port Elizabeth, we should just uh, win. Or, you know, they, they should at least win. They won't have any more uh, victory points. Are they retreating? No, good. But apparently the uh, they stopped attacking, which is not fantastic. Well... What if instead of attacking here, let's just go to down to uh, this city and see if we can maybe push our way in. The 1939 budget, um, we're going to get factory output and construction speed going up a little bit. The Kenyan Highland Settlement Policy. Uh, unfortunately, it's long been economically uh, underused. The British settlers have proven more interested in establishing themselves as land owners and letting the native QQ do their labor. Um, we open up the land to small German farmers, siege by Junkrat states. We can improve productivity, increase our influence in the region. But also make the land shortage even more intense. Well, let's allow for German settlement. Why not? We basically have been making things uh, a little bit unstable. Uh, Africa goes quiet. Something is wrong. Very wrong. We're no longer hearing back from Border Garrison. Supply convoys are being raided. Uh, this doesn't look good. Almost the entire continent is about to outbreak into open rebellion. That does not look good. It definitely doesn't. So I do know a little bit about the um, outbreak because because um, I knew this was a possibility and I almost expected it to happen. Uh, so I kind of looked into it. I don't know if you want to consider that cheating or not, but I've already done it. So it's too late. Uh, so most of this entire area is going to become under enemy occupation uh, because, you know, a bunch of these little tags, they don't show up yet, but they're going to get released uh, slowly but surely. Uh, but the ones that do not include South South Africa, which I know stays under German control no matter what, even if we lose the entire war. The German South South Africa should remain part of our territory. Uh, Angola should stay part of our territory as well as Mozambique because the way that... Um, because they're not uh, officially... Te they're not 
it's hard for me to explain it because it's in my head properly, but because they're Portuguese and not part of the original uh, Middle Africa, they don't actually get included with the um, event chain. I'm 99% sure. And the same thing is going to happen to Liberia. So because of that, almost the rest of the entire country is about to break free, uh, which is, I would say, a bad thing indeed. So what I'm going to do is we're going to get two armies here. And we're going to have a fallback line basically defending um, our territories here. I'm going to recall my guy as well from uh, from you. Can I just... How do I recall you? Can I, like, go in here, send volunteers? Send air volunteers? Can I just, like, return them? Because I actually don't know how to do that. Anyway, okay. So, you guys are down here. Can't join that army quite yet. But as soon as the war breaks out, they will be recalled. Um, so, where are we going to defend? We're going to defend, let's say, right here. Because we're not going to have, like, a huge amount of divisions. Which is going to be an issue for us. It's cause it, but as soon as that one guy shows up, uh, it should be okay. And then we're also going to need to defend Liberia, because that is going to be one of the places that do break out in open revolt. Or that will, will not break out in open revolt, I should say. But I'm pretty sure almost everybody else will. I'm trying to remember exactly which countries break off. Does the Ivory Coast break into an independent nation? I don't remember. So actually, I'm going to draw the fallback line in this state. And all 16 of you are going to go there. So I, I know that this country does, I know the Gold Coast does, Nigeria does, um, like Uganda and them all break away. So I'm just trying to make sure that we don't just immediately die. Of course, we can always call Germany into the war, um, which I'm going to do. I know that's going to happen, like there's no question about that. What can I get that'll be immediately helpful in like the next like few weeks? Um, so 1939. Uh, construction speed? Probably doesn't matter because we're going to lose a lot of our factories because it's all going to go into open revolt. Um, 1940 text will take about a year. Let's give it an encryption. Why not? Maybe that'll help us a little bit. Yeah, our troops are slowly moving into position. And, you know, as soon as the war starts, we're going to go back down to uh, speed 4. I guess you might as well just attack. I mean, what else are you going to do? You can't get returned until, uh, I think the first country is uh somewhere up here i'm just trying to remember which ones because we i also we also don't want to capitulate G you know generally that's a bad thing yeah the ai does not know what it wants to do okay you know what just forget about it you just hang it over here yeah there you go middle africa has declared war on the kingdom of rwanda Hunting accident, someone actually just died again. Fantastic. Means our party popularity is a little bit higher. Mongolia declared war on the Russian Republic. I declared war also on Burundi. Wait, why has Mongolia declared war on. Okay, they just declared war on the Russia. I mean, Russia is still, like, fighting a very bad war. It's probably not going to go well for them. But we're basically, we're not going to engage in this at all. Um, I'm going to get the war support. I think that's important. I'm going to call in my allies. Yeah. We're basically just going to let the entire continent break away because I know um, if we try to move troops into here, these other country tanks are just going to revolt as well. It's just going to be basically be a bad time. Of course, we're going to we're just gonna have to slowly call in every single country over and over and over again. Mexico's going to war in the Central American Republic. That's fine. Not a huge deal. So we have war economy now. It's going to make our uh, industry a little bit better. Deal with the British. Keep the Cairo right away. Uh, bonus re- you know, let's get, let's get the bonus research. No, actually get the extra research slot. I'm just trying to remember which other countries break away. Is there a country here? The Congo's broken away, Zanzibar's broken away. Um, we're going to convoy raid, I guess. I mean, what else are you going to do with these boats? And we're going to, again, we're going to just keep on calling in, uh, Germany. Resilient factories. Well, um, I guess we're going to build more military factories. Um, 
Build him in Southwest Africa, because I'm pretty sure we don't lose this territory. Hawaii's been called into the war. Yeah, okay, one country broke off there. It would be really nice if these guys also fought each other, but they don't. They're completely all combined against me to, um... I mean, our manpower is still not, like, super, super high. Now the country has declared war. Uh, where even is that one? Okay, this guy up here. How many troops do they even have? They have, like, 10 divisions. Uh, you have 10 to 15. You have three divisions. But basically, you know, we're in a an awkward spot. And we're gonna, again, call in our allies in the more wars. We're already, like, uh, what are we at? 80% capitulation? Maybe we should have put troops actually defend our capital. That probably would have actually made a little bit more sense, but... Volunteer forces from South Africa have returned home. Okay, it is your job to defend the capital at all costs. No matter what happens, do I have troops I can deploy? I do. Please deploy these extra troops in the capital. Stop building anybody else. These two divisions are going to guard the capital with their lives. Because we definitely can't lose it. Belgium's been called into the war. So we have a Shanti over here. And if we can capitulate these countries, it will do uh, great work for us. Of course, we are losing 5% uh, stability per uh, week. Not, uh, not great. If you can actually get these troops to slowly move away. Spain's been calling this the war. I mean, that's fine. All this also, this means also if, um, France declares war on, um, Germany right now. Germany's basically just fucked. Because Germany's gonna move, like, so many troops down here. I mean, we should win. In the end. When do you leave? You're gonna be leaving in one day, two hours. They're going to go trying to move to the side. Uh, you know, where there's no German troops. Where they're, where they're going to have a little bit more access. Let's call in even more uh, Germans. Hmm. I mean, it's not looking fantastic. I will be the first to admit that. Okay, let's move in slowly over here. Of course, we only... I think they only really have, like, one city. If we can take over, um... Their capital, that would be fantastic. Uh, Germany, call into my war against, uh... The homie over here. So that's basically your, um... Front here. Low manpower. Yeah, I'm not surprised. We're losing all our manpower in our core states to, uh... All these little African states. Which is definitely not helping us out. So you're doing some good work. Uh, I'm going to attack into here. Winning at least on all these fronts is nice. They're going to try attacking to us. Um, there's like not enough troops here that we can effectively defend. Yes, okay, so we have this, this. Yeah, it's just this state is actually a little bit exposed right now. There's not much I can actually do about that. At least for the time being. Okay, let's get my planes to somewhere a little bit safer. Where I know they're not going to just immediately die. Also, why mine speed 5? Go down to speed 4. Speed 5, I think, at this point is basically suicide. Okay, you guys march down here. You're going to get attacked by them, and that's okay. We gotta get surrounded on this guy. We can probably get uh, Shanti to capitulate, like, right now. If you go take their capital. So I think that's going to be basically our mage th uh, main staging area. You guys still seem like you're okay. Just stay there. Just stay there for now. Um, we got some German troops slowly moving into the uh, continent. So 59, 73, 64. I mean, I kind of expect this was going to happen. Because if you look here um, with... Um, Time for change or sovereign state. It says that everybody will be very upset with us. And unsurprisingly, I guess I have not been treading uh, too lightly. Okay, we have air wings and no missions. I guess you'll be over here as well. Hopefully that will uh, be fine. 
Okay, so you guys are gonna get completely encircled. I mean, this is actually also a state that we need to take. Because right now, uh, okay, we've called everybody into the war. We have about one point... I mean, the main part, you know, it's in our favor. But that's not saying too much. Okay, so our troops are going here. Somali has entered the Cairo Pact. Or Somalia, I should say. They're still with the Ottoman Empire. I didn't know Somalia could even join the Cairo Pact. I've never seen them do that. Okay, so they are immediately going to attack. And to me, they're probably going to lose a bunch of organization trying to get this done. And they're going to lose. We can attack straight into the capital. That's definitely not going to be enough to capitulate them. Do you have the encirclement penalty? You do. Wonderful news for us. We need to take Loam because that is actually a... Um, it's a three-point uh, state. These ones are only two. Yeah, these guys should die relatively soon. Morocco has been calling to the war. I guess that's good news. These guys should die as well sometime in the near future. So far, most of our territory is rather well defended. Remember that Mozambique is not a core state. Does not count at all towards capitulation. Uh, some of these territories up here are colony states. Do not count towards capitulation. Uh, this little area does, but we have no way of putting troops in there. Oh, uh, we have no troops putting troops over anywhere there as well. So we're just kind of in, in a bad situation. We have negative 40% stability. Uh, I would say it's not great. I mean, it could be worse. But it's not very good. Okay, Lithuania has been called into the war. Apparently, these battles are still not actually going well in our favor. We're actually about to take out their only port. Um, I don't think that really makes a huge difference. You know, sure, let's upgrade our artillery. Even though we have no, we only have two factories right now, so it's not actually uh, providing much benefit. Okay, so it's March 3rd. Let's just go. You know, even though it's way ahead of time, I think our infantry just need to be better. Like, not even a question about that. So, it's not like that 53% capitulation. If we take over this city, uh, we might be even closer as well. Okay, so, our defense is going, I would say, pretty decently. We'll probably put out some troops over there. You know, this is a decent staging area. We're getting some more German reinforcements. Um, if the Germans could land, like, in this region, that would be swell. Can we get this Zanzibar? I'm going to set up an invasion from here to Zanzibar. One division is going to be on that. Seven days. I don't know if there's any troops in. Where's my boat? Where are my boats? Delete this plan. Go to here. Let's see if there's any troops in Zanzibar. Because that really seemed like the only city they had. So that just might immediately capitulate to, uh, Zanzibar. In any country that's capitulated is... Uh, better for us like it's not even a question yeah this yeah this is all one state and they don't i don't think any of these guys have military access with anybody else so for now like borno is just stuck uh, uh tiki is just stuck um rwanda is basically just stuck they can't really do anything else oh there's actually like five divisions there for the end of our whoops Okay, well, that attack is definitely not going to happen because there's no way we can push that and actually have a win, at least not uh, for the time being. Ashanti is at 14%. We'll actually get our first capitulation. Uh, take all states. Apparently, we can't do that yet. We're going to pass and then take all states. Okay, so they've all done that. Uh, we are now going to push our way across. How many troops do you have, Togo? You have two divisions. You actually have your own, um, event tree. Is anybody else? Like, you don't... You don't... Okay, you don't... That's us. Most of these guys look like they don't have a focus tree, so I don't know why that one did implement apartheid. Maybe, maybe we chose the wrong side in that front, but that's fine. So we're gonna get a university, and probably in a place that doesn't actually exist, or at least is not under our actual uh, control. Belgium's been calling into the war again. There's nobody else we have to call. Germany's at war with all these people too, I believe. 
You know, all things considered, there's not really that many. Yes, Australasian Guard. Maybe they'll actually get uh, Australia out of the Entente and into the Reich's Pact. But I do think it's going to be a good time to end the episode. So thank you for watching. My name's been Anthem. If you've enjoyed, run a thumbs up. If not, do I tell you thumbs down. Watch for subscribe and goodbye.